Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to one of my favorite videos to film every single year. I am very, very passionate about toddler toys and I'm also very, very passionate about the holidays. So these videos are kind of a match made in heaven for me. These are some of my favorite videos to binge watch during the holiday season. We have a toddler at home who is two and a half years old, a little boy named Landon, and we also have a baby on the way. My due date is December 5th, so depending on if I go early or if I go late, the baby will be just about a month-ish during the time of the holidays. So today I will be sharing with you everything that we got for our newborn and our toddler for Christmas. I'm so giddy and so excited for today's video, but before we jump on into all of the toys and all the items that we purchased for our newborn and our toddler, I do just want to throw a little disclaimer. I talked about this in last year's video and I feel like I should talk about it again in today's video for 2021 holiday season. When purchasing items for the holidays, it's just very subjective. I always go by the model, to each model, the motto, to each is own. I feel like the items that I'm going to share, some people might say like, wow, you went overboard, you got them way, way too much. And then other people might watch this video and be like, girl, you did not get them enough. Like compared to what we purchase for our kids, that's nothing. I just always feel like you do what is best for you and your family style and your budget. I think that we kind of take a minimal approach when it comes to purchasing toys for our kids. Kid, because the baby's not born yet. But you guys get what I am saying. I feel like we take more of a minimal approach. But again, to each his own. We also do Montessori with Landon and plan on doing Montessori with the baby on the way so we'll give both of them like a solid week two weeks to kind of just go crazy and play with all these toys as much as they want and then we'll start rotating some of them out so we'll take like a bulk of them put them in the basement put some of them in their playroom and as time goes on we will rotate them and rotate them and rotate them so with all of that being said let's just jump on into the gift guide we're going to start off with the gifts that we have for the baby on the way. This is the newborn category. We only have two gifts in this category. I think it would be a little aggressive to get bundles and bundles of toys for a baby that's going to be weeks, possibly just about a month old at that time. So we have two toys in this category and full disclosure, just want to throw this out there. Both of these toys have been gifted to me from love every y'all if you have watched any of my mommy and me content on youtube or on instagram you would know that i love this brand love every with every inch of my soul this brand is everything but again full disclosure i was gifted these items this video is not sponsored i'm not being paid at all to promote them they were just gifted to me everything in the category that i talk about for landon we have purchased with our own money but we are very blessed to be able to work with love every from time to time and they will send us some toys here and there to share on youtube or on instagram for again promotional purposes we actually do subscribe to love every with our own money and we do the play kit with Landon we have every single play kit from three months all the way up to where he is right now at two and a half years old but we did not have the newborn play kit so they ended up sending me this play kit right here this is the play kit for weeks 0 to 12 it is the looker and then they also sent me this really adorable colorful animals wooden book book it is so adorable and this is actually available at Target now. So I will link all the information and both websites in the description below. Their actual website where you can purchase their play kits and then I will link the website where you can find them at Target. They're actually in select stores across the United States but then they're also available online if you would like to check them out. So this is the first thing that they sent. So cute. If you're unfamiliar with Love Every to spare you the next four hours because I could probably talk about this brand for a solid four hours. They are a company that creates and develops toys according to your child's developmental stages. I believe they work with psychologists 
that know about like the baby brain and they know like what baby should be doing at that specific stage in their life and they develop toys that are not only fun but functional they have very like organic toys sustainable toys the whole nine yards so again to spare you the next four hours of your life i'm just going to link all the information in the description below so thank you so much love every for gifting me this product this is one of the items and this is the other item the looker so i haven't even opened this up yet probably should have thought ahead and got a pair of scissors but let's just open up and see what is inside i just am really 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 excited about this so this is what it looks like. You get your little guide on top, shows you all of the products that you will receive, and then here are all of the items. <laughs> this is so cute. So we have this right here. Everything that you see inside of this box you're gonna see is very like high contrasty. So this is like a little baby mobile. And the reason for that is toddlers, not toddlers, newborns and like infants are very, very engaged by high contrast. So lots of like blacks and whites, lots of like polka dots or stripes or zigzags, all of those things. I'm just looking at my little timeline over here so I can read all the things off correctly. We're getting a silicone rattle with removable ball. So this is what the rattle looks like black and white and then you have your also high contrasty ball has a little shaker rattle inside and we have all the polka dots next up it is a standing card holder look at how cute this is i love the colors beautiful and when you open it up you have all of your cards your high contrasty cards that you can slip right in here and then just open it up. We do have the Love Every Play Gym. So I plan on using a lot of these items in conjunction with the Play Gym. I'll link that one in the description below. Best Play Gym ever. We have our parent Bible right here. In here, they basically tell you like all about your child's stage, where they are developmentally, what they could be doing, what you could be doing, so on and so forth. Next up, we are getting some sensory links and sensory toys. This is really cute. <laughs> Look at how adorable that is. I love this brand so, so much. Here's another one. It has like the little taggies over here. And here is the last one. Cute, cute, cute. Over here we are getting, these are just more of the clips to put on here, I guess. I actually didn't even open up this box until this video, so I'm learning all this stuff along with you. We are getting the complex black and white mittens. So these are like high contrasty mittens. You would put these on the baby's hands. You can even do like feet and then like they can play with them as they are like looking. So they can like look through their hands or their feet, whatever it might be. We're getting the black and white card set. No, 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 this is a wooden book. So let me just open it because it doesn't really matter if we open it up. So it's just like a little wooden book with all of those high contrasty images and then it looks like we're getting one more thing i believe let's see what this is what is this oh we're getting a mug so once in a while they actually do send items for the parents which i think is really really nice so this mug is obviously not for the baby but it is for mama and dada because let me tell you, mom and dad are gonna need a lot of coffee. I think that's the thing that I'm like the most nervous about right now is transitioning into like no sleep again. So this is coming in clutch. That is everything that is inside of the zero to 12 week looker box from Love Every. Thank you so much again to Love Every for sending me this. I can't wait to give baby all of these. It's gonna be so cute. Okay. We're going to move on to the toddler category now. I'm going to attempt to get this one into a frame for all of you. Don't even know if I can pick it up. Not quite sure how heavy it is, but this is the big ticket item for Mama and Dada. All of the toys that I share here are obviously from Mama and Dada. We have not taken him to go see Santa yet, but he did mention that he wants a dump truck from Santa. You're going to see quite a theme with this video. Our son is obsessed with motor vehicles, anything that is on wheels, he is obsessed with. So he said that he's going to be asking Santa for a dump truck, and we're just gonna hope that Santa delivers a really nice dump truck for him. So this is the big ticket item from Mama and Dada. It is a Schwinn Roadster tricycle. We got him this really cute, let me see if I can pick it up. Yeah, I can, it's not that bad. 
it is a tricycle how cute is that okay i can't carry that for very long because it actually is a little heavy we got a little tricycle i'm so excited we have this little tricycle from when he was like i want to say he was just about a year old we got them i think that was his first birthday gift it's a little tricycle it's like a plasticky type one has a little handle for mama or dada whoever is taking him to kind of like guide him through but this is legit a tricycle that he is going to ride on his own we're gonna get him a little helmet to go with it and our goal is to like teach him how to like sit and use the pedals and use the handles and turn and i'm just so excited so this is the big ticket item from mama and dada the schwinn adjustable seat positions low position frame ear filled tired rotating roadster tricycle <laughs> I'm so excited. I am clearly not going in any order at all. The next item that we purchased for our toddler is Candyland. How nostalgic. I feel like he is old enough now to play this, to do like a family game night. He knows his colors, he knows his shapes. I'm just really excited about this. And this one is like very vintagey. My husband and I joke about this all the time. We went on a little baby moon trip to Cape Cod. We spent three days there and we purchased like three things. Literally didn't purchase a single thing for us. We purchased some cleaning supplies for the kitchen and we purchased this Candyland for Landon and I have no regrets. I cannot wait to play this with him. Any of the items that I can link and I can find, I will link in the description below. And I forgot to mention this at the end of today's video, I'll do a little playroom tour so I can share with you like what his playroom looks like right now. And any of the items that you see in this playroom, I would say pretty much almost if not all the items that are inside of this playroom i'm filming in this playroom right now are either from love every amazon or etsy so i will link my amazon shop in the description below i will link etsy's pages in the description below the ones that i went through and i'll just try to link as much of the items as i possibly can so along with all of these items that i'm sharing here in today's video if you guys are interested in shopping or checking out any of my other lists i will link them all in the description below i feel like i do a pretty good job with picking out toddler toys just maybe that is putting myself on a pedestal but i feel like i do a pretty good job so the next item is candyland can't go around with Candyland. It says 65 years of great family fun. If something is around for 65 years, they're obviously doing something right. I have something pointing into my right eyeball and it is making me tear up. So if it looks like I am crying in this portion of the video, I promise you I am not sad. I just have something in my eye right now. Okay, let's move on to the next package of items. This is actually an item that we did not purchase for Landon for Christmas. He has actually had this item for about six, maybe seven months. It is a gift that he got for weaning off of the binky, but I felt like I had to include it in this gift guide. I felt like I would be doing this gift guide a disservice if I did not include it in today's video, because if you have a child at home, that is as obsessed with motor vehicles as our son Landon is, you need this next item. This next item comes in a pack of five and you will get five motor vehicles, very high quality motor vehicles that drive very, very fast. They have lights, they have sounds, they have movable parts. It is the best spent money ever so i will link this one in the description below as well we are getting like a little construction vehicle it also comes with a helicopter it comes with a fire engine it comes with a garbage truck and then it also comes with a police car when i tell you landon plays with this at least two times a day that might be an understatement i feel like it's more like four or five times a day the best money spent truly and honestly the best money spent so if you guys are interested in any of these i'll put them in the description they have like all these cute little parts and let me just show you i don't know if i'll be able to get it into frame but when these move can you can you hear that 
they kind of like make themselves go. So you give these little items, these little motor vehicles, a little bit of pressure, and then they kind of take off on their own. We do races with these. It is just fun for the whole family. So can you see this? That was terrible, but you guys get the point. So those had to be included in this gift guide. You need them. This next item. This next item is an Etsy find, and it is one of my favorite Etsy finds of ever. Look at how cute this is. It is a little workable workbench for your toddler. Y'all, I built this. Like, how proud am I of myself right now? I built this. It was so easy to assemble. It is this cute little workbench that we plan on putting on top of his little toy cubbies and has all of these pieces that go along with it. So you get your saw, really adorable. You get your wrench, that's the word I was looking for. I'm not quite sure what this is. I think this is like a screwdriver type situation. And you get your little hammer. Up top over here, you have all the little spokes that you can put all of your different like nails in and all of those other things. And then on the bottom, you just get like a plethora of all of the different nails and screws and lug nuts, I believe that is what that is called. You also get these pieces right here that you can make like different designs and lastly you get a couple of these little wheels it is so cute over here you get this piece so you can kind of like open up a little bit close it's just a very workable workbench and the quality is so so nice i looked for a bunch of these on amazon and the reviews were subpar at best so I saw this one on Etsy, I gave it a shot, and I am so, so happy that I did. It's one of my favorite Etsy purchases of ever. So I will link this exact seller in the description. This is what it looks like in the front. This is what it looks like in the back. And then again, you have like your little workstation down here that you have all of your miscellaneous pieces. So cute, he's going to freak out, and I cannot wait. <laughs> While we're on the topic of Etsy, let me share with you the next two items that I got from Etsy. I'm a little up close and personal right now, but I wanted to make sure I gave you a really good view of these next two items. I got Landon this pack of three pancakes. They're felt pancakes. If you ever want felt food, I highly suggest Etsy. It's a little pricey, but the quality is unmatched. We have bought felt food elsewhere for much cheaper, and it has kind of like broken apart and pulled apart. Everything that we've ever purchased from Etsy, the quality is really, really great. And I always make sure to read the reviews beforehand. These will last like months into years, into decades in my personal opinion. So we got him a little three pack of pancakes. I forgot to mention this, but one of Landon's favorite things inside of his playroom, something that he frequents every single day is his kitchen. He's very invested in his kitchen and we have a lot of toys that are like kitchen based, whether they are supplies, utensils, fake food, wooden food, felt food. We have a coffee maker for him. I will share with you the kitchen setup when I do the little tour of the playroom, but we did want to get him a couple of items to go into his kitchen because he just has such a blast in his kitchen and it's actually fun for the whole family. I love playing like chef with him and I love playing kitchen with him in the playroom. So we got him this little three pack of pancakes. How precious. And then we also got the cutest thing ever. This is the cutest thing ever. I don't really want to open it up. I kind of want to keep it. Maybe I will open up so I can share with you and then I'll put it back in here. But it's a little Happy Meal kit. A little felt Happy Meal kit. I will open it up so I can show you. I'll just do it very gently so I can hopefully put it back together later. What is funny about this is Landon has never had a Happy Meal in his entire life. He refuses to eat hamburgers. Like he refuses to eat all the fun food, pizza, hot dogs. He won't eat any of that stuff, but he'll definitely play with it. So this is the hamburger. How cute! This is my first time seeing it outside of the package. Are you freaking kidding me? So they're all pieces that come off and you pretty much just like make your own hamburger. There's a piece of my hair, awesome Allison. Comes with the bun, lettuce, ketchup. Oh no, it's a tomato! Look at the detail that is put into this. You get your hamburger bun, again, the detail, your slice of cheese, and then the top of your burger. Along with that, you get a little tiny 
thing of french fries. These are like little crinkle french fries. The quality of this one is probably the best quality out of any felt food item that I've purchased of ever. This is what sold me. Well, chicken nuggets, like what even? Look at all the texture on these and you're getting four of these little chicken nuggets. I am too excited about this. I have absolutely zero chill when it comes to this little Happy Meal kit. Like, can we even? Because I can't, I cannot. Challenge accepted, I'm trying to make the tiniest little bow right now so I can put this little DIY Happy Meal felt kit back together. Success. I made it look exactly like it looked previously. Okay, we have a couple more items to wrap up this video. This next item, I'm now realizing I probably should have unboxed all of these and opened them before this video. My apologies. The next item that we got for Landon is an Amazon find, and it is such a good Amazon find. Let's open on up. It is a cute little wooden vintage phone. He is going to get such a kick out of this. This is from, oh my god, what? <laughs> what? This is from Heart and Hand. Isn't that like from Magnolia's Table from Target? Isn't like that the brand that you can get at Target that's like Chip and Joanna Gaines? Can you focus? No, maybe not. Uh, let's try that out again. Isn't that their, okay, whatever, it's not focusing, but isn't that their brand? I'm pretty sure that's their brand. Yeah, it is, it says right on the back. <laughs> I thought this off of Amazon. I thought that this was like an Amazon find. Apparently, it is not. Definitely should have pre-opened all of these. Again, my apologies. When I was looking at this online on Amazon, I was like, wow, that's like really good quality for Amazon. And it's probably because it's Chip and Joanne's games. <laughs> it's their brand, the Magnolia Table brand. Oh my God, I can't even do this right now. CRV. Okay. Correct me if I am wrong, but isn't Hearth and Hand with Magnolia Chip and Joanna Gaines brand that is sold at Target? I've never seen this at Target before. Regardless, this is a kid's toy. I was just asking myself, I was like, did I purchase something that's supposed to be like a decorative item? But it does say right on there, Wood Kids Rotary Phone for ages 12 months plus. This is the cutest stinking phone. I have ever seen like are you freaking kidding me with this we do a lot of imaginative play in his playroom and in our day-to-day -day routine if we're at the doctors we'll pretend that we're like picking up a phone to call a patient so i figured that this would be absolutely perfect right now we use an imaginary phone so i was like let's get him a real phone he will have a blast with this has all the pieces that come off it has the little dial by numbers over here and in the back has like a little bell. This is so cute. So I did purchase this off of Amazon, but maybe you can get this at Target as well. I think the Amazon price was very, very reasonable. I will try to find this elsewhere through their brand and I will link the cheaper of the two, whether it is at Target. Maybe I overpaid for it on Amazon because it was from like a third party seller. Who knows? I will do some research and when I link this one, I will link the cheaper of the two. However, with Amazon, you do get free shipping. So let's just, let's just figure this out together. Three items left. I'm going to save the most desirable item for last. So let's move on to the third to last item. These highlights, hidden pictures, books. This is for 2021. The new one is out for 2022. However, it was nine dollars more expensive so we just went with the 2021 version you get a pack of four with these this gift is actually really more for mom and dada we have so much fun doing these do you guys remember like going to the dentist office when you were a kid and they would have the highlights books and they would have random pages that were like the hidden picture pages and you would always get so upset if somebody colored in already or like circled them or used pencil or pen because they kind of like gave it away that is my childhood i saw these last year and i decided to pick them up and adam and i have been addicted landon likes these as well but this is really a gift for mama and dada when we give 
Landon independent playtime. We tried to give him X amount of independent playtime a day where he's just playing on his own. And if we're sitting in the playroom with him, we'll kind of do one of these booklets. So yes, Landon does have fun doing these as well. It's a little overwhelming for him considering he is a toddler. He is only two and a half years old, but we'll be like, hey, can you find the moon for us? And sometimes he will actually find the moon for us. But this is again just a gift for mama and dada i would say i a thousand out of ten recommend these little hidden picture books from highlights they are just so much fun like hours upon hours of fun for mama and dada i went against my better judgment for the second to last item in this gift guide i promised myself that I would not purchase a single book this holiday season. And you might be thinking, Allison, aren't you a teacher? Wouldn't you want your child to have books? Wouldn't you think the more the merrier? Absolutely. However, I am not even exaggerating when I give you this number. I think Landon at this point has anywhere from 300 to 500 kids books inside this house. We have four bookshelves in our house right now that are chock full of Christmas books. And we subscribe to a kids book subscription service. We subscribe to Lily Post where we get three or four books every single month. We are overflowing with books. And I love books just as much as the next person. And one of my favorite things to do with Landon during our nighttime routine is read like five to 10 books a night. I just love them. I just don't have a lot of space. Our house is not equipped for about 500 kids books. But like I said, I went against my better judgment and purchased him this book right here. It is the big golden books, Paw Patrol, the Pups Save Christmas. Homeboy is obsessed with Paw Patrol. He can tell you everything there is to talk about when it comes to Paw Patrol. So I figured I have to get this for him. I actually might not give this to him around Christmas time. I might give this to him December 1st and just keep it in our book rotation for the nighttime because this is all about Christmas and I feel like this would be a great way to really get him more into the holiday spirit. He totally understands Christmas now as best as a two and a half year old toddler would. This book is just so cute. The quality is really, really nice. So I did purchase him a book and I have no regrets. I just love book time with him and I am not on wood very very fortunate that he loves reading I hope that that never changes I hope he always has a little spot in his heart for book time and for reading because he just really does such a good job with it he is so invested so I said you know what I need to get him this book it popped up on my Amazon and it was like Amazon you know me <laughs> so I did get him this book the pups save Christmas the storyline looks so cute and last but definitely not least let's circle back to what I talked about earlier my child is obsessed with motor vehicles he is obsessed with cars he is obsessed with the movie cars and he is obsessed with naming off all the characters from Cars. So I ended up going onto Etsy and I purchased, I think, every single authentic, original, official Cars car from the Disney and Pixar movie Cars number one. We have not watched two or three. We love Cars number one. So I did this whole box of Cars and I'm gonna share with you the ones that I got we got, I forgot his name, I'm the worst, and of course this is the first one that I am pulling out. The King, I think he's the King. Yes, so I found these all on, did I say Etsy or eBay? I got these all off of eBay. I will link the seller in the description below. We have Flo, these are the metal die cast cars. I have looked everywhere for these. Look at how cute, we have Ramon, 
I feel like this is gonna take a long time if I share with you every single one. So let me share with you a couple of them. Look how cute Fillmore, oh my gosh, he's gonna lose it. I can't wait to see his face when he sees all of these. We have Doc. But yeah, I've looked everywhere for these, for like the original ones. If you go to Target or you go to like department stores, they really don't have A, the die cast cars and B, the original ones. Look at red, how cute. Oh my God, these are adorable. Money well spent. This was a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, because I had to purchase them off of eBay and you had to purchase them each individually. Here's Lightning McQueen. They were a little pricey, but when I read that they are like actual die cast cars, they're not just like plastic cars, they're the metal die cast ones, I was kind of a little more apt to purchase them because I know that the quality will be really, really nice. Here is Chick Hicks. And these shipped out relatively soon. I wouldn't say like super, super fast. So if you're interested, I would definitely jump on that as soon as possible. I think these took two maybe even three weeks to get to my house here we have sarge we have the sheriff oh my god the sheriff's so cute we're gonna have so much fun playing with these he gets really into interactive play and i can just totally see him look at sally like pretending to be these characters like we'll actually pretend to be these characters while we are playing this was like the really big one i think this one comes in two pieces it does it is mac i am living for these right now so here we go, we have Mac Truck, Mac the Truck, that takes Lightning McQueen everywhere. There's a couple more, so I might as well just share the rest of them with you. I don't remember her name at all. You guys can let me know if you know in the description. I don't remember her name. I know that she talks to Stanley all the time, but she's like the old time rickety little car. We have, of course, Mater. Look at this little die cast Mater. Stop it, I love these. And two more, I was just gonna say, oh my God, where's Guido and Luigi? So we have Guido and we have Luigi. <sighs> I think this might be one of my favorite items in this entire haul. They're so cute. So that ends this portion of the video of everything that we got for our newborn and our toddler. Let me know if you guys like this type of video and you like the things that we picked up for Landon and for the baby on the way. I'm gonna end this video now with a little tour of the playroom. But yes, that is it for this portion of today's video. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope that you're having an amazing, amazing start to your holiday season. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys. Okay, we're gonna start right over here with the bookshelf that we have inside of Landon's playroom. This is exhibit A on how we have just far too many books. There's no such thing as too many books, but we just have a lot of books. This is just Christmas books, and this is not even the whole of them. They wouldn't all fit on this bookshelf. This bookshelf is from ECR for Kids. I got this from a third party seller on target.com however it's not always available so if i can find it i will link it if not the brand is again ecr i love this tiered type of bookshelf from here in the corner we have our melissa and doug easel it is a double-sided easel on the front you have a whiteboard and then an area to do the rolled up paper to draw on and in these compartments over here, we just have a bunch of crayons. And on the back is a chalkboard. Also, my apologies, I am so out of breath right now. Third trimester problems. Over here, I would say this is one of our favorite toddler purchases of ever. We got these last year for Christmas for Landon. They are magnet tiles. They're just a bunch of different shapes and they all connect together with magnets and you can make all different kinds of structures. We have so much fun playing with those. Moving right along, up on the wall, we have a toy from Love Every. This is like a little area model matching and sorting game. You have all of your animals, your insects over here. Inside you have cute little felty type stuffed animals. Not stuffed animals, but you know what I mean. And then the goal is just to match them up where they belong. Here are our shelves. If they're on the shelf, the toys, we don't play with them all the time in the playroom. 
these are some of the areas that we will rotate toys out. Occasionally we'll take them down, but this is where we put some of the toys that we rotate out. We also put the rest of the toys in the basement. So this is a Love Every toy, something I got off of Amazon. Love Every. This is the block kit up top. I don't really know what this is called, but it's like a racetrack type toy. And then over there we have the Plan B. I think it's called B Plan or Plan B Toys. And it's a little doctor kit. Inside is just like a bunch of wooden doctor kit essentials. You have like a stethoscope. I'll show you actually. This is one of Landon's tried and true favorites. I am so out of breath right now. Also trying not to make this clip like 15 minutes long. We'll see how it goes. All right, so inside of here, you just have like a bunch of wooden doctor essentials, like a stethoscope, you have a needle, you have a thermometer, blood pressure machine, you know, the whole nine. Moving right over here, we have a ball pit. We're actually gonna move this into Landon's room very soon because in this corner we'll do his Christmas tree or we will do the Love Every Play Gym for the newborn. Haven't decided if we're gonna do the Play Gym over here and put the Christmas tree over here. Still TBD. Over here we just have a little picture of Landon from his first birthday and we're gonna put a new picture of Landon and his sibling. Here is another shelf on the other side, again with the shelves. We don't always play with these like on repeat. These are the ones that we have rotated out, but we'll take them down occasionally. On this shelf, we have all of our Love Every books, a little Fisher Price cash register, more Love Every toys. This is also one of Landon's absolute favorites. We have a little basket of all of the instruments that we play and we'll just like sing songs and use instruments to go along with the rhythm. And then over here we have the Grim Rainbow Stacker. Right over here we have a little, what's this called? Pregnancy brain? A frame, that's the word I was looking for. And we switch it out every season. So obviously Halloween just passed. We had a little Halloween design. These are all stickers that Landon like put on there. And now we will do like a Christmassy type scene to put inside of here. Right on the bottom, we have our sensory table. This is from Ikea, one of the best purchases ever. You open it up and we have all sensory activities in here. So on this side, we have like all of our scoopers and our beakers. The beakers are all from Love Every and then all of the wooden like scoopers and such are from Etsy. And then this side, we just do our sensory play. So currently we have beans. Love that. In this corner over here, we have the Melissa and Doug cleaning caddy. We have not rotated this out yet. In every single one of my playroom tours, this has been in here because Landon just loves this. Like, we can't rotate it out because he never gets bored with this. Over here, we have our cubicles. These are our little cubbies. This is perfect if you are planning on doing the Montessori method. You just have all of the toys at the child's reach. And these are the ones that we pretty much gravitate to. And then we rotate them out. We'll put all the new ones in here. So on top, we have a little stacker puzzle. Shapes, we have our timer. Baby Quinn and Baby Avery from Love Every. We have a little balance beam also from Love Every. Here's my box full of cars, cars. Over here we have the, I think this is from Melissa and Doug. It is a little mixer machine to make pound cake. 10 out of 10. Love every toy, love every toy, love every toy, love every toy, and love every toy. We again, love, love every. Over here we have our little frame. It says of all the things my hands have held the best by far is you. Over here is the kitchen that I was talking about. This kitchen is from Ikea. It was $85. I'm, I just, there are not enough words in the world to express how amazing this product is. So this is the kitchen. It is so high quality. I think the 85 is pretty decent price for a wooden kitchen, especially considering the quality. And then on top, we just have all of his kitchen tools. So this is his coffee maker. This is a little cake machine. And by machine, I mean, it's just cake. <laughs> 
Over here we have his little toaster. We have a scrubber when he pretends to do his dishes. These are all from Love Every, no they are not, they are all from Ikea. It's all of like the utensils. Also from Ikea. When you turn this on, it actually like functions, which is pretty cool. We have the sink. And then down here we have all of like the other food items or cooking items. So over here we have like a toast kit, a breakfast kit. Over here we have some pizza. We have butter that should be with the toast. Some more pots and pans, another scrubber. We have some knives. We have the sandwich kit, which we love. We have so much fun making little sandwiches. This is also from Melissa and Doug. We have some felt food over here and then some more felt food back there. Over here we have a little campfire scene with some felt s'mores. We'll play campfire from time to time. I think that's all of it. So yes, here is the playroom. I hope that you guys all enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so, so much and I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Bye friends.